Yo, Sagittarius, this is, this is, what's good with y'all? We about to get into it. Uh, cross watchers, you're welcome. You can be here, of course. Um, people want to know how Sagittarius is being applied to your charts. Of course you can be here. I'm glad you're here. And um, I may cuss, but I don't curse. Let's get that situated first. Bars, because I'm nice. What else? If you want to get in contact with me or you know someone who wants to get in contact with me because they can benefit or you can benefit from what it is that I do here and how I do it, there'll be a link to my website in the description box that'll take you to my calendar. For my calendar, you can arrange an appointment with me via Google Meet. Pause because that's crazy. But you can do it face to face. Pause. Crazy again. And um, if you don't want to do it like that, we can do it over the phone. And I know that's kind of crazy too, so I'm going to pause again. But I'm serious. We could pick apart your chart. Bars. Right? Or they do a tarot reading. I'll adjust. I'm a mutable sign. That's what I do. I ain't gonna get, don't get too crazy though. Calm your tits. I, I ain't going too far. And with that being said, let's get these cards read. Bars. Three card draw I ain't gonna hold you long. Pause. This card is relative to the Sagittarius energy at hand. It is the judgment in reverse. This card is relative to how you feel about the judgment in reverse. The two of cups in reverse. This card is relative to the factor to consider regarding this situation. The four of pentacles. Hmm. Okay. See... The fact I'm starting with the fact that to consider here because I see it already. The fact that to consider here is that you're holding on to people that are not for your greatest good. And I'm not saying that these people are bad people. I think it has more to do. What I'm saying here is it has more to do with you being kind of I see control freak. I'm just keeping it a beam with you. Being a control freak in the way that you want to possess these people. And um, it might even have something to do with finances. It might be financially related or it may not be. It may or may not be. Let's leave that right there for right now. Now let's back up a little bit. You know that you have some disharmony within one of these connections, at least, maybe more. I, I get I'm under the impression of in a relationship, maybe just for the money. And it's like, well, yeah, they feel that they have the right to speak to you or behave with you in some type of way because. They pay the bills or they pay your phone bill. I don't know how deep this rabbit hole goes, but I'm getting it somewhere along those lines. Like the if it's not money related, right, because, again, I said it might be money related. It might not be. It's a toxic relationship. And it's the toxicity that has you holding on to it. The sex might be good. You know what I mean? And it could just be merely that. You might even feel like you can't find someone else that's going to fuck you like that. I'm just keeping it a being, you know. And that's why you're holding on to it. Or this person even, like I said, if they're the, if you're not still with them because of the money, they might just have it. Therefore, it gives them the type of status that tells you, well, I feel like if I, if I fuck with... Like, you might even got your eye on somebody else, right? But they don't have the same status that this person has. So you're like, I can't do that. That's like a backwards move. Or that's like, you're, you'd rather sacrifice your happiness and connection just for the status and the wealth, the materialism that's attached to, to Buddy over here. Um, But not for nothing, you're not compatible with this person. You're just not. Now... The situation at hand here. Hmm. This is deep because I can't really 
decipher which of you out of the two is having self-doubt. Okay, I got it. You are experiencing the self-doubt of taking the risk or the chance of moving on to find someone else that can replace this person. Like you're looking at a replacement mate as someone who can either match the status or surpass the status of the person that you're with or connected to. You know what else I'm also getting? Like you might be, and I ain't trying to play you, but you might be like the backup broad. You know what I'm saying? You might be the side piece. You might be the, the mistress. You might even be further down the leg than that. I'm just keeping it a bean with you and flip the genders around the way that you need it to be. But you're okay with that because it's like a shortage of dick out here. You know what I'm saying? I just said this in a post not too long ago. Like, yo, chick told me, you know, it's a shortage out here. Therefore, you know, fuck it, man. Your man's like all like like both ours type shit. It's how the, you know how the chicks is on it right now. Males included, so it's like the chicks are starting to Y'all know where I'm taking this, right? I get that kind of vibe. It might be one of those situations. So that's where your self-doubt comes from. But you're also unaware. You're not aware of how... You're not aware of yourself. Of the power that you hold, like self-worth, first of all. And you might be... Because I know y'all Sagittarius. You might be like, there's no fucking way I'm a Sagittarius, motherfucker. I know what I'm worth, and I'm trying to tell you, nah, no, you really don't. If you knew, you'd be moving on that motherfucking shit. So if it's don't apply, don't let it fly. This ain't your reading, you can shut it off right now. But you're indecisive about busting a move that can really validate your self-worth. And that indecisiveness, indecisiveness excuse me, comes from the type of gossip that can come from going around this dude's say-so or, or or his validation. You understand what I'm saying? The gossip would be like, oh, how could you... You know, if so-and-so find out, they're going to look at you like, well, they're going to say this, that, and the third. And all this malicious gossip is going on around. And it's like, you do with this what you want to do with this. You know what I mean? Because there is no outcome card out here. It's just that the factor to consider is not for nothing as well. This person knows that they can hold on to you the same way that you're holding on to them by holding on to their coins, holding on to their money, or just that coin is you. And it's like the coin that doesn't grow. It doesn't exponentially grow in value because it's being held on to. The only interest being garnered from it is the interest of Buddy right here. If you get what I'm saying. You only going to grow as far as he lets you or she lets you. That's all I got for now. Till next time.